The Hangout on Air is live. Hey, guys. Hello, live joiner people who are or not. people who are not live and joining us later or watching the recording. That's right. If you're watching the recording, <laughs> hello. Ken is running around somewhere. So, so we're in the building, as you can tell. Lots of noise, so I apologize for that. But uh, we want them to be doing their their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, we uh, thought it would be fun. Noise. We thought it'd be fun to just do the uh, do the thing here. Yeah, this should be our last. Look, case. check this out. out. until the uh, the time that we're um, moving in. Actually, we're back in the uh, we're back in the what do you call it? The warehouse. The warehouse? We're in the warehouse. So. Uh, they're they're working. Where are you guys? Are you all at work or home or what? Both. Both. I'm still at work. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm office. office. I'm office. Home office. So basically, basically the majority of people are at work at home. Yep. Yes. Welcome, yes. Matthew. <laughs> hey. Hey. But it looks like it looks like it's still the office. The office. It looks like what? It look it made it made Oh, that's right. I, see, I can see the Google uh, thing in reverse on the glass behind you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, nice. Still in, still in. Nice. More, it's your your audio is like cutting in and out for some reason. Where's the microphone? On the TV. On the TV. On the TV. Oh, uh, okay, it's I can, doing. It's, I can grab my headset. Quick, quick. Okay. It's it's like doing a uh, noise rejection or something. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. But you look fine. It's no big deal. What do you mean he looks fine? He looks great. Oh, you look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Yeah, we just wanted to kind of do it from here and answer any questions you guys have and talk a little bit about uh, things that we've done this week and yep. all that good stuff. Yep. So where should we start? I don't know. Can, first of all, can you all hear us okay? Because we're using the microphone right off of our little uh, um, webcam. Does it sound okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Can you hear that? Do you hear that? Huh? Do you hear that? Uh, uh, the drilling? drilling and screwing in the background? Some of it. Some of it. Not too bad? Okay, good. <laughs> they're literally they're literally putting sheetrock on our storage room. Yeah. Right over there. They're carrying it right in. Those big tall walls. The the walls are like oh wait, which one is it? That one. <laughs> Those are twelve foot twelve foot high walls. It's the one without the nineteen sixties. Really? Okay. You're gonna yawn? <laughs> They've They're had like four hours sleep. Yeah, I've no had, sleep. I've had like four hours of sleep a night. You were gonna, you were morning. showing us our vintage speaker. Yeah, our vintage speaker. We haven't gotten that down yet. You see up there on the corner, like up, uh, right, right there. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It's like one of those old wooden kind of 1970s speakers. Oh, we haven't taken it down. Wrong with them. They're still making hooks now. No. Yeah, sure. They probably do. Yeah, we haven't hooked them up to anything. I, I, I don't. Really yeah, I'm trying to decide if we're gonna take it down or leave it there just for nostalgia. I know it's kind of cool. I wanted to leave it in the conference room, but we had to rip out everything in the conference room because of the asbestos. So. Yeah. <laughs> and hook it up. Like one of those things that no one will notice. What? I'm just, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering guys, guys, with all the power of the offices. offices. <laughs> there is so there much. Is so much. <laughs> Yes, you there's just, a lot of power. You know, you, you know, I there is I have a thing against extension cords. I do not like extension cables. And you know, I just don't ever want to have a situation where there's something we want to plug in and you don't have a plug right there. So, it's a paranoia thing. I started it when I was doing remodeling at my house. Like everywhere I put in uh Power outlets. Later, I was like, "Oh, I wish I had more outlets here." And then I had to have Keith come out and change outlets. And of course, and Keith liked that, but you didn't like that yeah. pricing so much. Yeah. Keith actually doesn't yeah. even like it because he doesn't want to make a house trip for like two freaking yeah, that's true. You know, 
power right. outlets, okay, you know? I'm kind but, of the same. Like, every time when, every time when I was, like, looking I was, like, looking for the first thing I did, I did, I did like, for, like, where are the like, sockets are the located, 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 how many are they, are they, are they and where can and I where get can get I get power? power? So I totally yeah. understand. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I as well have too much than too little, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you can never have too much power or even power or even That's right. <laughs> and so we did the, uh, we're doing the four-way um, outlets because that way you also don't really need a uh, power strip because, you know, let's say you're going to plug in, let's say you're plugging in a TV. Well, nowadays, anytime we plug in a TV, you're always going to plug in, like, a TV. There, there's a bug. I know. He really likes yeah, me. Yeah, he likes me. You, you're going to have a, a, a TV, and then you might have, like, an Apple TV or a Roku or something like that. And then you might also have, like, a Blu-ray player. You might have an Xbox. <laughs> well, you would have to have a power strip. But if you have a four-way outlet, look at that. I'm sorry, guys. It's if, not you. It's me. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, how many times have you heard that from a woman? It's not you. It's me. If you have a four-way outlet, then you don't need a power strip. You just plug everything in, you're done. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah so we have a lot of power, a lot of Internet. And a lot of Ethernet, yeah. A lot we, of e. The other thing is we don't want switches. Uh, one thing... I like switches. No. I loathe having switches and power adapters everywhere if they're not needed. So instead of having to... Uh, you know, somebody wants to have two or three devices plugged in over Ethernet in an office. Instead of having to put a switch hanging off of an Ethernet port, which is just a recipe for disaster, we're just putting in more Ethernet ports. Why not? So there's plenty of Ethernet everywhere. And then on top of that, we didn't even talk about the Wi-Fi we're putting in. But the Wi-Fi in this building, we're going to have like five Wi-Fi access points. Yeah. And yeah, we haven't talked about that at all, have we? Let's put it this yeah, way. Right? Like, like, why, why, why do you have internet when we nowadays, when we nowadays have internet like like using Wi-Fi? Wi I mean, well, even even, even my MacBook work, 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 I'm not using, I'm not using the, the cable. cable. Right. Wi-Fi. Yeah, a, a lot of people uh, in the office might just use Wi-Fi, but, but consider the fact that we're a video production facility, and so we're constantly transferring video files back and forth. Um, and having to access, like, okay, so John and I will come out here, we'll shoot something in here, and immediately when we get back, for you guys, the behind-the-scenes patron videos or whatever, we'll have to get that onto the network. So the quicker it goes, the quicker everything can get turned around and, you know. Even with the fastest Wi-Fi, um, it's nothing compared yeah. to a 10 gig EE switch, you know, I mean. Absolutely. So, absolutely. yeah, we... The, the main thing, most most of the machines that are physically connected in the building will be over just gigabit Ethernet, but we're putting in the CAT 6A everywhere in case we end up putting additional editors or something in offices, and, you know, they... We will be we will be converting all of the machines that we're doing editing on over to machines that are 10 gig capable. So what we what we want is we're gonna have all these 10 gig NAS devices in the network, uh, you know, back in the server room. If you're gonna have it connected via 10 gig, you might as well be able to access it, you know, from a desktop at the same speed. Otherwise, why why bother? You know what I mean? That's a very important question. Do you think this is one of those days that Jeff will allow me two cups of nope. coffee as opposed to one cup of coffee? Actually, are you really, like, totally... Uh, Do you have anything? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what I have to the rescue. What? Oh, no. I don't drink that crap. Code red. <laughs> That's all right. I'll skip it. Ooh, the rush of cherry flavor. I think that this is the diet Unless one. Unless they start sponsoring us. It's I don't diet. Think I really want to drink that. Let's see. <laughs> even I think even I diet. I get to the coffee. <laughs> uh, caffeine contents, 54 milligrams. Oh, it's not very much. It's only about oh. one third of a cup of coffee. That's all right. I'm good. I, I can handle it. <laughs> I, also, I also have some crack. Some yes. Crack cocaine. Can you give me some of that? <laughs> that? I think you can just crunch it up in your mouth. Just chew it like candy, okay, like okay. rock candy. <laughs> I, I do apologize, guys. I'm sorry. 
Um, you you don't ever yawn, do you? I don't think I've ever seen you yawn. I don't yawn very often uh, yeah. because yawning is the process of putting blood to your brain. It's something that people who think a lot need to do. Right. I don't really have that need. I, <laughs> the last place that I need blood is right here. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, oh, can I tell them something we haven't announced to anyone? You're the boss. I don't know. I don't we even know what signed, you're talking about. We haven't signed the paperwork. But I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> okay. We're good friends with Samsung. Oh, um, yeah. This is a big one. So uh, they, we haven't told anyone this yet, and we're going to wait until it's like on its way to announce it. But um, Samsung has agreed to put a 78-inch curved Ultra HD, which is the same thing as 4K TV, in our front lobby. You forgot 3D. Oh, and it's also 3D, but I don't care about 3D. It's an $8,000 <laughs> television. <laughs> And they're gonna hook us up with the content to display it too. Oh wow! Well, I mean, that was the—that's the plan. Oh well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you how crazy this is. Okay. Samsung has only five of these TVs. For review, for journalists. For journalists, stuff. for the whole, for all of America. Just to be clear, this is what usually happens in in companies. So big yeah. companies will set aside a certain product inventory yeah. out of their sellable inventory and use it just for journalists, rotate them out. So. What they do is they send it to a journalist for, you know, a, a week, a couple Eight of weeks, weeks, depending on the product, you know, and then they take it back and they send it to another so that everybody gets to do that. And so usually what the journalists want to do is they want to be the first to get it, right? Like, because to be honest, let's face it, most other, most Tech journalists, the value, the only value they usually add, I'm being a dick. Wow. The, the value they usually add is they break the news, right? Well, we don't we don't care about that so much. We we don't we do it differently. As you guys know, we get the product and we use it for a while, and then after we're convinced it's good, then we tell you all about it, why it's good, whether you should you know whether you should even look at it. So. Speaking of which, we should really do that Roku TV review. I mean, the Fire TV, not the Roku. Yeah, we should, because I'm loving it. It's become my primary product now. I don't know yeah. about you. Is Mine it yours? Too, yeah. Okay. Except so, there are a couple of glitches. Oh. Anyway. Let me finish this story. <laughs> they have five of these TVs for all journalists in the U.S. They're taking one of them out of rotation and putting it on long-term loan in the geek house. Nice, Basically. Nice. It's coming to us permanently, which now means there's only four for everyone else. So you're welcome, Tina. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, now I'm being introduced. Yeah. <laughs> but that's really so, cool of them. Yeah. We really like the guys at Samsung. And that's very exciting. Yeah. But that happened this week, and let's see. Actually, that happened last week. I don't know when it happened. I don't know what day it is. Um, Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so it happened last week then. <laughs> is today Tuesday? No, today's Thursday. <laughs> oh, it, Bruce. Bruce is trying to fool us. I would have fallen for it, and you know what? When I didn't show up for the live show tomorrow, yeah, it would have been your fault. Do you know what's yeah. funny? Yeah. When he said Tuesday, I instantly thought leg day. That, w that's how I, I'm like <laughs> Tuesday's, <laughs> Tuesday's leg day, and I'm like. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, I don't go do my legs. legs hurt so bad, there's no way I can, and then I was like, no, it can't be, because that's why my legs hurt, it was, it, it was a leg day, that means it can't be Tuesday, that's funny. it's Thursday, it's, it's upper body day. I think you need some yawning, maybe yeah, get some maybe. air in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't wait to see that, I mean, uh, it's yeah. probably, probably. Hey, Moritz, are you going to come to Texas uh, on August 1st for our grand opening party? Can you talk uh, Google totally into? Uh, early. Early. <laughs> I will be in Vegas in September. And I'm just planning to like stop by and stop by in there. Nice. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you'll see it when you you'll when see you it when you come. Yeah. It, sh it should be awesome. Or you can talk uh, Google into doing like a whole month of uh, travel in the states. Right. 
first Dallas for August 1st. I have to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What other cool stuff? Well, we launched the uh, the project. The, oh yeah. The fundraising project. Yeah. So, did you guys? Did you guys? I think we already told you guys a little bit about we what we were going to do with we the. Told you guys it was coming. Yeah, but we finally got that launched. Any comments or thoughts on that? Yeah. We got one. We have one. We're going to make one modification to the program uh, pretty soon when we get a chance to. But no legs. No legs. Program. Oh yeah. But what did you guys? Uh, what are your What are your first thoughts about what we did with the whole, you know, uh, selling the plaques for the art wall plaque program thing? I like it. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. The anybody have any thoughts on pricing or? Uh, Negative feedback. Negative any feedback any critic critical feedback at all or anything? Mm -hmm. So okay. the, the that's good. I yeah. mean, you know, so we were trying to do like a whole range of uh, of of pricing, um, and we actually we actually had two different types of feedback, both on opposite ends of the spectrum. We had we had some people, and actually. Interestingly, about equal numbers of people, which is funny, uh, which means we probably did it right because on That's the bell true. curve we've covered most. Right. Most, but we had some people tell us that the thousand dollar plaque was basically they wanted to do more. They wanted to do something beyond that. And of course, and we were we, like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> we had we knew that some people were were going to want to do that. Um, even for example, my brother had told me, like, because we had told him what we were going to do, and he had told me he was going to do something more than that. You and know that he meant monopoly money, not oh, real money, right? Oh, that bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I knew he wasn't my real brother. Anyway, um, so we knew that, but we thought, well, for people who are going to do something like that, we would do. We will do more than just that. We would put them on the wall, but we're going to do some other special things. And so Callie and I were actually still in the process of coming up with the list of all the other kind of available things that we would do. Like, for example, if somebody went totally nuts, you know, we, we'll freaking name the building after them. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, but you know, we, we'll we'll do all kinds of other things. And so on one end of the spectrum, we had some people say. We actually would like to do a little more than that. You know, what can we do? And on the other end of the spectrum, we had some people who, unfortunately, were the most critical, and they were like, uh, there were a couple of people that were downright angry that the lowest price option for a contribution was $125. And 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 in our minds, like before, ahead of time, we thought, you know, if if that's if people well, we have trouble, they could do like a dollar a month, right? Or yeah, well, they could just do a Patreon thing or whatever. Yeah, something like that. But. And the challenge for us is, we, you know, I didn't really talk about how we're going to manufacture these things, but let me just say this. My plan was to try and use an injection molding process. If we go that route, we're going to end up with a really awesome finished product. But at the same time, in order to do it, injection molding requires a huge upfront cost for tooling because yes, yes. yeah, you have to manu you have to you have to make the molds, and those things are like, you know, they could be a couple thousand dollars for one mold, and you got to pay for that up front, and then after that, you got a per unit cost for the production, and so just the sheer cost of making the plaques alone meant. You know they can't be. They're not like five dollars. I mean, this is a totally custom, one of a kind thing that doesn't exist anywhere on earth. The way we're going to do it, this is the first, and we just can't do it for less than like a hundred and twenty-five dollars and have and any stuff. margin left. If the whole point is to you know help pay for the building, yeah, then... it's not to pay for the artwork. <laughs> it's to pay for the building and use that as, but. We did have some people who, you know, they they don't understand the the cost of it, and we didn't go into it, so it's not like a big deal. But they were like, you know, there were some people like, well, if it could be fifty bucks, you know, or something, that'd be a different story. So 
we just literally can't do it at that price. But then Callie and I got to thinking, you know, not all of the names on the wall have to be on one of these plaques. Another option would be for people who literally just want to put their name on the wall, just to, just to contribute something and put their name on the wall, what we can do is we could have little um, vinyl lettering, like... I mean, make it look good, but... It, it would look nice, but it would basically be a sticker. And so for 50 bucks, you you know, we could cut people's names out uh, and in a little reverse cut where the name is cut into it and then the the... It's let's say a, a a blue rectangle with the name cut out in reverse, and we literally stick it right on the wall. And bingo, bingo, we got we can get to the price point to make everybody give that put that within reach of everybody. What do you guys think about that idea? It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Gives everyone the chance to contribute. Yeah. What? He said gives everybody the tr chance to contribute. Yeah. And then we just stick those. You know, we'd still have everything else where it is, but we then place those little um, ones, decals, kind on the in wall between. in between everything, you know? We're just trying to make sure it won't ruin the artifact. You yeah, know? the aesthetics. Um, and I think, I think we can we can go ahead and do it without without hurting the idea. I think. I think we have to try yeah, it out, but I think we can. It. I think we can. But we'll that's see. kind of what we're thinking now at the moment. Anyway. Um, Cadillac sent me an ELR. <clears throat> Cadillac sent us an ELR to test. Are you guys familiar with the Cadillac ELR? No. It is the... No. It is... Okay. It's basically a Chevy Volt in Cadillac form. <laughs> now, I hate to say that because it really doesn't do the uh, ELR justice, but at the same time, it is the, the reality is it's a Cadillac that's built on the Chevy Volt platform. But if you guys like Google it or something, you will see it is one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen. It is absolutely jaw-droppingly gorgeous. And instead of being a four-door like the Volt, it's a two-door. It's, it's actually a little kind of sport coupe, but it happens to use the Volt drivetrain. It's a nice, lot nice. Yeah. nice, nice. It's beautiful. And it does not drive like a Volt. The interior is not like a Volt. The, difficult, the, the, the reason I keep saying Volt is because I have a hard time in my brain getting over the fact that the ELR cost $85,000. Yeah. And a Volt is 35000 But it has really mm -hmm. fancy stuff to it. It has a completely different suspension. <laughs> the interior is all different. Everything everything is different, but it's not more than double the price different. Right. And and this and I love this thing. I've been driving it for two days, and I'm loving it. And I get to steal it tomorrow, right? You can have it whenever you want it. <laughs> I just can't come to grips with the fact that... It's that premium of a yeah. price. It's like if it was fifty grand, I, I kid you not, I'd go buy one. Um, but eighty grand, ugh. I just no matter how much I like it, I don't think I could do it. There's so much. Size 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 well, it's got it's a hybrid. It's a plug-in electric hybrid. Oh, it's, oh. Got, it's got an electric motor with a forty-mile range. So most of the time, you're driving around on electricity, no gas whatsoever. But if you exceed its 40-mile range, the gas engine turns it turns on, and then you're in just like a hybrid mode, uh, you know. And it's, I think the zero to 60 on the car is somewhere in the seven and a half second range, which is not fast, and it's not slow. It's fine. Um, Especially when what you're you're driving this car specifically to to avoid using gas. It's a right, it's a plug-in. Right, you're not on the gas. No, it's an electric car. Yeah. you're driving it because it's an electric car. Uh, and it's got right. all kinds right. of really right. quirky things in it, like like there's no there's no handle on the glove box. If you want to open the glove box, you have to push a little button, which makes it super fancy. 
But I sit there and I think, okay, well, if we didn't have a button on the glove box, we probably could have shaved like $1,000 off the price of this car. <laughs> you know, and like to open that, open the door, there's not a handle. You know how when you get in your car and you want to open the door, you pull a handle and open the door? No. On this car, there's a button. You push the button and it unlocks the door and you push the door open. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if I just had a handle, could we have shaved $1,000 off the cost of the car? <laughs> So it's electric. Or electric. electric. <laughs> yeah, it is. Everything about this car is electric. You know. Uh, what happens? Uh, what happens? happens yeah. Where's Christopher saying? I can't read that. Oh, Christopher said that sounded. That sound needs. So I. So I good, use, but it sounds good. But yeah. So I. Oh, 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 oh. Go ahead. It sounds it's good, so but you might want to have to um the words at the top. Like, so he's high from the yacht book. Oh, are you right, my internet's a bit slow today. today. That's okay. okay. You mean on the uh, patron wall thing we were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what was the suggestion? I was just, uh, you know when you were saying about, like, the about these Yep. Yeah, just, yeah, um, just, like, uh, you just, like, just put like, them instead of, them like, having them but have them knock at the top of the order. Yeah, that is yeah, another option. Yeah, you yeah, know what? Yeah. Actually, I like that, actually. Yeah, they could be like a border around. Yeah. Like There could be rows above and rows below, or even a complete border around made up depending on how many there were. No, I like and then that. They, yeah. don't they don't interfere with the white with space. The that is Very a good. really good idea. Yeah, that would look really sleek, actually. Yeah, that would be good. By the way, guys, well, you have an awful echo going on on your end when someone speaks. We do? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try a different microphone and see what happens. Is it just, did it just start? No, it was the whole time. No, it was the whole time. Oh, sorry. We're going to try. OK, now we're using the microphone on our little MacBook Air. Does it sound any better? One, two, one, two, three, one, three. Echo, echo still there. Echo is still there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's try one more of that. We also have. Uh, we can try. We're using this little Braven for our uh, audio because it's louder, so that we can use it in here. So we'll try the microphone on it. I think it has one. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. Can you guys hear me still? Yes, yeah, I guess yeah, I can. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three. Echo's still there, but not as annoying. No, it is still annoying. It is still annoying. It is everybody else. Is everybody getting the echo? I got it. I got it. Sorry, guys. So does Daniel. I'm sorry, guys. We thought we'd at least test this. This idea out of being a PF building, but well, the main reason we wanted to come here was because we wanted uh, we wanted you guys, if you had any questions about the building, to be able to ask us because we'll literally pick up the Let's MacBook and the camera and we'll walk around and we'll go answer questions and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can hear you guys. Um, um, it's like going on, going in. You can, you can try to like blend that out in your brain that you have your own voice all the time. It's kind of okay. All right. Sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll I mean, do it I mean, we, It could be also an issue with handshots. If you can work on improvement of the thing around the echo translation. Yeah, it could yeah. be. I don't know. I don't know. And, and it's really noisy in here, which could be screwing with the whole thing because they're the literally working right there beside us. <laughs> Yeah, we can go in the other room. How about if we how about if we go mobile with you guys and uh, we can try and now keep in mind we only have two Wi Fi access points in the building, which really is enough to cover the whole thing we think. But there is we a we haven't tested we have not tried roaming the building while on a call. So but if y'all are game for it, we'll do it. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. get, yeah. get, get trouble sick. Get trouble sick. So <laughs> Callie will take. Uh, Callie can take control of. Here we. 
we have a neighbor with a uh, restroom. <laughs> oh, brother. You got to go to the bathroom? Here we go. Hang on. After you guys at 2, we have actually a, a, a meeting. Hang on. Hang on. Don't move. Don't move. You're walking away. I was trying to get out of your way. You okay. Me. I'm, going to, I'm going to change our settings here again. I'm going to, we're going to use the built-in speakers. Okay, can you guys say something? Can you hear us? Yes. Yep. Wait, that's still over there. Oh. Let's see. Hello? Built-in. Yeah, we hear you. Hang on just a second. Uh, built-in. Try again now. Try again now. Yay! That's it. Okay. All right. I don't hear the echo now. You don't? I'm getting distracted because I have no echo now. No. Go next door. No, I'm just sore. I'm having a hard oh. time walking. Callie's having a hard time walking. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so actually, how about if I hold this and you can? I will point it at you because I can Nobody see what they're oh, seeing. Okay. And they don't want to look at me anyway. Yeah, we all know do. that. Okay. Where do we want to go? Okay, where do you guys want to go? What do you want to see? Anything in particular you want us to take you on a tour of for sh right now? Just start with a general walkthrough. Oh, okay. All right. So right now, let's go look I, outside because okay. we've never done that. Oh yeah, we have. Yeah, let's see the backyard. Yeah. I forget. Are you having a patio with a grill and everything? That would be nice. Okay. We don't really specifically have a out here because like this is, we have this big open parking spot over here um, which we could do something with but we haven't we don't really have like a grilling location yeah it doesn't look as big on the uh, webcam but it's actually yeah. a pretty big parking lot and then you know so, out that way I mean it's pretty pretty long but yeah. we basically have a big parking lot yeah. and we, everybody wants to do it on the roof but, yeah uh, oh yeah we really want to do that. Yeah. One thing we haven't talked about is the asphalt. I mean, as you oh. can see, this looks really kind of crappy. Uh, we have potholes, like way over there on the other side, you can see potholes, and it's just, it's not in great shape. So, um, at some point, we're going to resurface, you know, resurface it. it, fill in the potholes, and make it look better. That's our new dumpster. That is not our uh, new dumpster. It's our new old. It's our old new dumpster. That's it's empty. Dumpster. No, it's ours. It's ours. We paid five hundred. <laughs> that. Oh, nobody told me that. Yeah, nobody tells me nothing. Yeah. So what happened is they've already filled up. They've already filled up six of those dumpsters, and Rick was like, you know, we budgeted for like two of them. We filled oh, up no. six of them. So we just paid five hundred dollars to buy it. So no, we don't own it. <laughs> It's five hundred dollars for it. <laughs> yeah. It's five hundred dollars for them to bring that here, set it here, and then come back and pick it up. It's five hundred bucks. Uh, so the reason that's there is because all that trash we have on the side that's ours. Yeah. We're paying for that one. Uh, we need to put all our crap in there and get all that trash out of here. Curly. <laughs> right. Okay. So we this is this is obviously uh, we we had it on our on our. Uh, video walkthrough, but this is the big production area. Uh, we were sitting over there in those little black chairs earlier. Um, we we oh. have a lot of stuff in here that needs to be removed. It's just either get, being given to somebody or trash or whatnot. Like some of these file cabinets? Yeah. And uh, heaters? And a treadmill? Uh, yeah, i got to get that on Craigslist. Yeah, good I'll luck with that. Uh, here's some stuff that we did not show. Um, the ceiling, oh, yeah. for example. You see these big lights that we have hanging up here? Well, those lights are all going away. Um, except for like maybe maybe like uh, four lights. There, there'll be about four of those lights. We'll try and like, there, no backlight issue there. There'll be like four lights hanging from the ceiling in here. And they'll be up really high. They're all going to be LED. Yeah. Just for ambient lighting in here when none of the studio lights are on. House lights. 
But what will also be happening is hanging from the ceiling will be a bunch of trussing. Oh, yeah. We, so we have our well, – well, there will be a combination of trussing systems going on. So we have our trussing that we use right now that's, that's on the floor and goes up. But then we also have to add some hanging trussing that, get from, that hangs from the ceiling and comes down. So it's not taking up floor space. Did you all just lose our video? It goes in and out. No. Oh, okay. Now, over here, these are the pieces for the new um, psych wall. Mm. So you can see they're like curved. It's, it's basically a a kind of a concrete surface on foam, and it's cut to be curved. Uh, it's curved on the inside, and then the outside, you see how it's kind of flat with the 45-degree angles. Um, so those are the pieces that go right up against the wall. So we've got all these pieces right here. We've got a big stack of them there. There's just a whole bunch because for our 25-foot wall, it's going to you know require a lot of that. Hey, let's come over here and see what the guys are doing. Sweating. Sweating. Yeah, you would think that they could have turned off the damn air conditioning in here. We got a ten. We got a ten-ton unit on the roof, and it's not even plugged in. It's too far to split with this. Yeah, I'm just a wuss. Take a look. They're filling in the uh, yesterday. It only came down to this like ten-foot spot, and then they're filling in the. Yeah. This wall will continue to be open. That way, we can kind of extend our storage above if we need. Yep. Watch out! Don't don't hit. Don't uh, trip on this stuff. This is the this kind of stuff is everywhere right now. Not just on the floor, but like hanging from the ceiling. You know, everybody who walks in and we give them a tour, they're like, "No way, you're going to be done by June 12th." Yeah, we're going to be done. <laughs> Uh, this hasn't come out yet, so that still has to be removed. Yeah, that's going to be I, demoed. Part of me you want to show them? We haven't shown myself. that off. Oh, yeah. Show them. So this building was originally built for an architecture firm in the 70s. And back then, of course, they, built into the wall. they, they had all the drafting paper everywhere. Yeah. And there's... This floor right here is where we found the original blueprints, the architectural plans for this building. Seven oh two gamma. Uh, they were all in here, and uh, it was in miscellaneous items. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't. That was the. <laughs> they was in a tube on here. Oh, okay. Certainly me. Um, you know what was in here? What? Uh, the lettering thing. The. Oh, the hand lettering thing. Yeah. Or? I don't know what you call that. I don't know what it's called. Anyway. I'm old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> The guys are engineering some kind of a crazy yeah. wireless what are you guys contraption. Up to? I don't even know. We don't know I think it's you classified. Don't know either. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I think it's classified. Look, they cut the windows oh, out sorry. in the control room. So this is this is where the uh, this is where the tricasters are going to be, and there's the window to look out into the into the warehouse, and then there's a window to look into what the guys are doing in here. All right. Sorry. We are in private conversation. That's right. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. And down here. Oh, you guys probably saw this in the last video, I think. Okay. Maybe the door frames. frames. I'm not sure if they the saw the doors. The doors aren't painted yet. And the doors have been installed. Well, a couple of them have. Wait, actually, so if you come on in here, pop in the window. I'll come through the window. <laughs> By so the way, the door. Yeah. We were really concerned because um, uh, these offices are pretty small. They're like nine by. They're eight, they're about they're yeah. about ten foot square, roughly. Yeah, ten, they're, roughly. They're, they're a little smaller, but yeah. Um, and so we were pretty concerned about being claustrophobic, which is one of the reasons we we put in uh, the windows. But then when you get the door in and you have the window, it actually feels really nice in here. So, like, this would be where the up desk is, right? And I can see that it's just going to feel open and um, nice in here. So I'm excited by that. That continues to excite me. I don't know about you, John. Yeah, it does. And also, those doors, I mean, if you notice, those are solid doors. These are not, are. like, hollow. They're big, heavy, solid yeah, doors. they feel good. 
they should also keep some of the noise rejection out, you know, yeah. and and. Thank God I don't hear you. On a boat. So, so they have to paint the words. That will not be the color. Oh, did we get what? coloring choices to him? Because today's the day. Uh, no, but I will. Um, hey, look, it's the Robo Reel. Oh yeah. For those of you who saw. Uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's down there. We've been playing with it. It's plugged in. Oh. oh, you're old. You don't want to pick that up. Really? Oh, yeah. Never mind. She's pretty strong. Well, where's the button? Right over there. It's on the end. But if you push the button, you're going to turn off the drop cam, oh. or you're going to retract it and screw it up. I just, um, I'm retracting it. So. Okay, just go ahead. Bit. Push the button. Just a little bit. Push it. Yeah. Okay, so she's just showing you. Up. No, you didn't. John P. You did not. You didn't fix it. So. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not you. <laughs> okay, now just for just for the record, we have we have gone from uh, the wireless access point out there. I'm pretty sure this thing probably will have switched over. I don't know. It has to have. There is the wireless access point right now that we're using. It's hanging literally out of the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> we will be more professional once we actually move in. No, no, we won't. <laughs> um, lots and lots of stuff around here. Uh, let's see. Oh, they, this, you know, when they do sheetrock, they uh, kind of do it in panels. And so for a while, Ken's door was like down here. You had to. It was a Hobbit door. Yeah. They got the frame on him. Yeah, he's actually got a door frame now. Um, in here was where the gas leak was. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, told us last week, I think. Oh, okay. oh I yeah. guess the plumber must be here because somebody is up on the roof. No. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that, that oh, and are those the server racks on the right? Yeah, those are just, uh, they, are, they are four post racks, but those are not the ones we're going to be using. Although, okay. they, yeah, although they are like 52 U. Look at Ken; he's gonna die. Um, so they're they're 52 U <laughs> high racks. They're really tall, but we aren't gonna be using those in the server room. Okay. Because we have a, a new, we have another super secret surprise to share with y'all later. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, for the server rack. Uh, and not only the server oh, rack, right. but yeah, for the whole room. There's so many oh yeah. We don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, these guys are small bags. I just want to. When I see a bucket of this, I just want to reach my hands down in there and just play with it. Yes. Is that so wrong? I think you should do it. <laughs> we don't have any running water, so <laughs> that's not. Um, the guys are working like crazy in here. <laughs> That's right, you're famous now. <laughs> See, they're in there doing their work right now. <laughs> There's Keith. <laughs> He's, he's electrifying These things. These are the people helping us pay for the building. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> These are our bosses. Yeah, exactly. We're giving our bosses a tour. Uh, conference room. Look at all that old nasty. Ugh. Look around. It's a siren or something. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know where it came from. I don't recognize it. I don't think that's all that exciting. I, I think the guys are probably a little bored. Looks like part of the but look at this old. That's like, that's like nine thousand year old. That was the ceiling uh, insulation that we had. Yeah, that is disgusting. It's disgusting. It's all getting. It's all being trashed, and we're we're putting in the that new sound bat that you heard me talking about. It's much thicker, much higher R value for insulation, and also um, better for soundproofing. We covered up the uh, water fountain. That they did. There used to be a water fountain right there, but it's right we. There now. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Not the not in the greatest shape as one can see. Uh, 
So that's been covered up. By the way, you see that little drain plug mm -hmm. thing? Yeah, what are we going to do with that? This is going to be there. Seriously? It's just going to be there. Okay, I'm going to put like, um, I'm going to have to find something to put over it just as something funny because, like, I don't know, like, uh, stuffed pig or. Yeah. I don't know. I thought we could put a plant in front of it or something. I don't know. Who's going to keep I don't know. We'll probably kill the plant. But yeah. Maybe I, we need, like, a cactus, but doesn't really require. Yeah, cactus in the hallway. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody who visits is like, ow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're working on electrical stuff. I knew that. Yeah. Uh, we're securing all of the junction boxes. Oh, yeah. So you guys see the see that junction, that little metal box right there? Yeah. Uh, you see how they're kind of like, it's just hanging. Like, the bar is not even attached to anything. That is not going to pass inspection. And so, unfortunately, uh, we learned that the people, you know, in many, many ways, small and big, the people who have been working on this building for the last 40 years basically did everything wrong that they possibly could. <laughs> so everything is having to be redone. That's yeah. one of the things that's causing costs to, you know, really skyrocket. But what are you going to do? Yeah. Over here, they... Uh Opens this up. Got this door right in. Yeah, this is our. This is going to need a lot of work. This, this is looks yeah. This is the room where the fire stuff is. Look at the ceilings. And the ceiling is choice. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Nice. It's going to be awesome when when we're done. But by the way, that's right our now, sprinkler control yeah. system just laying on the floor. Yeah. Fix the control bed. Safety first. Safety yeah. first. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, here's a drop cam. There's drop cam number one. Uh, no drop cam, exactly what you're like, This is this right. is what well, this is the view of drop cam Not number sure one drop or whatever. Cam the hangouts. Yeah, now drop cam. No, the other way. Look, yeah, drop cam, go. see what you're missing? <laughs> this is what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to see if we can if we can make this thing go even out in the front yard? Sure. Nice to see this, so let's try. Or you yeah. can hang out right here, and I'll just open the door and explain. It's, How about that? It's it's still pretty stable, isn't it, guys? Very stable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, These access points are amazing. This is our new well, not our new front yard. It is what's becoming a new front yard. Before you remember, it, I don't know if you even looked because you know, the stuff that was on there was not even grass. So they've come and they've dug it all up. They tore it all out. And look, they've created this don't step little uh, area. They're going to put bushes and really. Yeah, let's see if uh, let let's. See if <laughs> Wi-Fi is the already the cutting out slightly. What? Is it? Wi-Fi is already cutting yeah. out, and you have low signal. That like the uh, video wi quality what? is going down. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess I won't be able to show okay. you too much, but here's the deal. Well, um, the. Uh, stone wall here. Yeah, we'll have this stone border. Anyway, they they ripped out all the old grass, and we've got this uh, stone, this I'm nice stone border. I know, and we're gonna have, and now we got dirt wow, all over I the didn't place. Track anything in. I did because I'm wearing flip flops. <laughs> oh, can we show them the? Uh, we haven't shown them the super secret thing over here. Not super secret, but a little. No, we egg. didn't. You want to try? Oh, we can't probably. Do um, you think? I don't know if the Wi-Fi is gonna. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like it's holding. I don't think we can hold it. Oh, but you can see this. There's, there's a view uh, where you can see our new ramp for our wheelchairs. Our wheelchairs, oh. the ones that we're getting. I thought you wanted one. I do want one. I want a motorized wheelchair. You're definitely gonna be getting one by the time I'm done with you. That's true. With this whole beating on me. You want to go show them the bathroom? Sure, why not? You like to show you like to show up the bathroom with people in it. <laughs> uh, uh, some, for some reason, 
the urinal is in the women's bathroom. Yeah, that's the men's yeah. urinal laying on the floor but in I the think women's I bathroom. Know, I got my closet. <laughs> you you I have your closet. closet. I know girls in closets. What's up with that? So yes. this is in the women's bathroom. And uh, we had to put a closet in here because it was just a wide open space in the other um, in the other office beside it, on the other side of it. And so this will just be where we house all the toiletries and paper towels and all that crap. But I'm excited to see it done. And there is the hot water heater. Isn't that exciting? I know. Ah, Mind boggling. I think it's just dirty. So. Hot Oh, there's nothing to the men's restroom. There's, there's, a, there's toilet. a toilet. That's it. There's nothing else in there. <laughs> what? Uh, what else do you guys want to see? Anything? Or any questions? Oh, it looks mm -hmm. like Ian and Digital had to go. Oh. Look at all the trash. No. <laughs> well, that's not all trash. No, it's not all trash. John, have you thought about with all the drop cams to um, create like maybe a time lapse or something from this like whole construction progress? That's a new feature of the drop cams, right? Yes, I'm trying to. We need to I'm trying to see if I can hook this on here. Uh, yes, they have that feature now. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to make you sick here. I'm trying to hook that uh, on there. Um, they do have that feature where you can go yeah. back and review content and run time lapses and I am hoping to do that like for example in here you know the guys working in here all day we should be able to pull a bunch of cool little time lapses yeah. off so definitely I was, I was actually doing that with the drop cam uh, I thankfully won um, because right now they're building a bridge here between the buildings and I set up the drop cam here in our offices and later on in a different floor to have this whole construction getting recorded Unfortunately, since I'm in Europe and not in the U.S., I wasn't able to use their VCR service to have this Aww. recording and to do the time-lapse stuff. But there is like a Python script that you can use that takes like images every five minutes and stores it like in Google Drive or whatever you want. And by now I have like I think 25,000 images um, and I already created like a time-lapse and that's really cool and uh, I mean with all the like construction going on there and like the different drop cams, I mean that would be a cool idea to have like a time-lapse afterwards of this whole construction. Totally agree and that is really one of the reasons why we tried putting the t putting several of them in here and we've been trying to move them around to accommodate the various uh, uh, stages you know so that we we keep it on something relatively interesting. So yeah, I'm totally with you on that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Oh. Oops. <laughs> a little top heavy there with the uh, with the camera That's hanging. Oh yeah, it's not gonna. The, the hinge is just not. It's too weak. I'll have to put it back on the tripod. Hang on. <laughs> so um, we actually are gonna have to kind of get going here because we have a call, unfortunately. Oh. Um, but our call is to get more cool stuff for the uh, building. So, yes. You Bring know. it up. Huh? Oh, just thanks. I'm lowering it down a little bit for a second. You. Un momentito, por favor. Fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, okay. the, uh, is that, is that on you? We're looking, at, we're looking at a couple of things with this call that we're going to get on. One what to bring in that's a super cool on a permanent basis. Two, what to bring in for the uh, grand opening launch party that's super cool. Yeah. yeah. What about the new shirts? Have you uh, got your test prints? Not yet. We still, uh, Callie and I are trying to, we're supposed to be finalizing our decision on the fabrics. Yeah. They sent us that huge stack uh, yesterday. I, I have my decision. Do you? On my fabric. We need to now make decisions on color. Oh. Well. Uh, so we have a call with them tomorrow, actually. Yeah, we have a call tomorrow. We'll make decisions. And then they should be able to print the test run for us pretty quickly and get it over to us. And they're moving pretty, every time we give them a decision, they're moving pretty quickly. Right now, unfortunately, she and I are the bottleneck for a lot of people. <laughs> What can you do? I you know? never been in my life, which is hard for me. Yeah. Because usually I'm I'm waiting on other people. You know, I just get stuff done and I'm waiting on people. But uh, yeah, it's 
not and, been the case lately. And it's not because like we're not good about delegating or we want to be right. micromanagers. We're the opposite of micromanagers. We we delegate like crazy. But there's just the, the volume of everything going on. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now that you guys just have no idea about because we literally are under NDA and can't even talk about some of it. So there's like... I'd say there's four or five big projects even right now that are going on that are substantial. Uh, you know, not as big as like the building, but let's say four or five projects that are at least one third the size of the building. So when you add the building to the normal stuff, to all of those things that are having to be done in secret, uh, it's no, no sleep, no <laughs> sleep till Brooklyn. What? It's a Beastie Boys song. Not that you would know that. <laughs> what are you going to do? You. Let me go All right. you that wheelchair, John. We have a 2 o'clock call? Yeah, we do. Okay, so, guys, we have two minutes to get on this other call, but thanks for hanging out with us again. Yes. Very cool. Thank you. I'm glad you have two faces in here. Yeah, anytime. And guys, well, um, actually, I think we have the June uh, the June patron hangouts scheduled already. So take a look at those, and hopefully, you guys can make up. I think I did them early in the month as opposed to later because that's when we're traveling to New York. So we'll oh, see nice show. you live show tomorrow. Uh, all right, cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.